All right. Oh. Let's see if we can get this old 57 to pop over. It looks like someone did plugs on it. it. Looks like someone did a cap and rotor on it at some time. I mean, this is not original stuff, so watch this thing just just, just run. I mean, are you kidding? Show them what's on the dash. I'll set it back. Oh yeah, one of the things we found in here. We are gonna have to get- It is gonna... genuine. We're gonna have to get a Budweiser can to appease the car gods and chug it before Dude, we get started. That thing's thick. Mm -hmm. Have you squeezed it at all? Yeah, yeah. God, it's like 18 gauge. But it's a pretty solid truck. Some rat turds. Can't go without it. All the glass is in it. And is there one piece of cracked glass? I don't think there is. Straight pulling material back in the day. This is this is what they had. Either that or you go up to a ton and a half. Right. And oh yeah, she's down. loose. Oh man, dude, what the hell was? That? I guess it was a rocker popping back up. Right. She's just been sitting for a while. Oh, but when she's that, oh, the starter was stuck engaged. But I think she popped out. That's a good sign. Oh no, she's stuck engaged. <laughs> but who cares? Oh, yep. She definitely, definitely doing a little popping. Snap, crack on popping. Well, should we, what, should we get a battery or should we get a jump box? Does it have Scott? Get the big negator, the big positor. Oh, here she is, yeah. Well, battery tray's in good shape. <laughs> like they just throw them in here. Wham. Yeah, so maybe we should just disconnect one of these guys. Or should we try to get like the 916 to pop it off there? That way we don't suck anything through the fuel pump. Break it here? No, in front of the fuel pump. That way it doesn't even suck any and ruin our fuel pump, you know? Well, I guess we're gonna do that. We might as well just grab like a one gallon can. Oh God, mine. you think it holds coolant? Look at that. <laughs> Holy sh Dude, she is just ready to go, or it has no compression. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure once Starter the oil disengaged. starts going, it feels like it, yeah. Probably got oil pressure already, just with those little rotations. <laughs> oh, dude, look at how they did the heater hose on this one. Oh, nice. What is that, a spike? Looks like a dagger. Right. They could never find the weapon he killed his wife with. <laughs> I mean, are we just trying to do a, will it fire? Well, we can't really drive it on these tires, can we? Oh yeah. Yeah, but she's really dirty inside, so maybe let's just get her idling, and then maybe another day, after what's his name, once we get it idling, then we'll maybe have uh, the guy clean it all up, and then maybe we'll drive it. Yeah? Yeah, let, let me get something down there and see if, see if there's a bunch of gas in that bunch Because it's so dirty, I just don't want all that stuff going up my nostrils. <laughs> right? Like, like this is the inner. Oh yeah, it's got it. That tank's tiny, dude. Man, they made it bigger on the C10s. Oh god, Ooh, there's gas so dark. There, dude. Look at it. All the way up to about there. Jesus. Oh, it smells so bad. Last time, I just used it the other day. Then I stuck my finger over it and it sucked on my finger. She's done. She's broke. This thing's she break every five seconds dude um, oh and they're on the right side look at that that's sweet so 1975 is the last sticker on these plates so it probably hasn't been run since the 80s at best any fires should we do a headlight check? Yeah.
Oh, push it in a little bit. It's like in between. They flash. There, there's running lights. Headlights ain't working, then they shut off. There's a wiring issue. Turn them on. Yeah, there's they on. Let's see if we got tails. No, no. Oh, okay, hold up. It's trying, our terminals are kind of loose. It kind of like popped up there. Let me grab a pair of vice grips. Now this is a trick I did learn from Derek. And I'll tell you what, it's come in handy a few times for a guy. It's a simple trick. I'm sure a lot of people are like, what do you mean you didn't know that, you idiot? But it comes in handy. Let's see, is that the, that's the negatory. So we should be fine. All right, I got a ground now. All right, try it. Give her a little bit of a stomp. That's weird, I wonder if we, do you still have your lights and stuff? No. Did we lose everything? I think we might've lost a ground. We might have to take this battery off and check that ground point. This isn't like some crazy six volt system where it's gotta be hooked up backwards or something. Is it a six volt or no? No, the lights were working fine. They didn't look like they were about to explode, so. Well, that might be a problem. Hmm. Either way, we've ran these six volts with 12, volt, 12 volts before yeah. on the 50. I think that's failure of a ground. So, yeah, you see all the scratch marks, maybe where it's had problems before. Oh, yeah, you know. Um, Let me grab, um, then again, I bet you pretty corroded in there. No, I think it's gonna work. Think so, yeah, because the first time it tried, okay, and I think it zapped the ground away. Look at this string, I know, right? Yeah, so I'll grab a 916 and then a drill and like a brush or something. I think we may have, to. of course, it's not a 916, so what is it, a half? A 9 16 is too big. Then a half. It's a half? That is a half. Yep. I knew it. I've seen by that the other day. Oh god, there's no way it's grounded. Pretty corroded. Yeah, she's trashed. Do it. How do people even talk that loud? My goodness. Oh, there's the other issue. Did it hit the ground? Yeah. Damn. You're flatheads. <laughs> yeah, let me go get a flathead. Let me see what's up. Look at some of this other wiring here. Let's see, we've got some sort of positive that comes off the starter. That's for interior. Another positive. Totally broke. So. It's totally broke. Yep. I think that's gonna work. A hose clamp. I did brush that off. That's a good job. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Stick that bad boy in there. I've never seen such a good device. <laughs> Might just patent this. Oh, Jesus. If that, oh man, it's gonna work. It's game over. It can't not work. It's probably ground in every car within the vicinity. <laughs> All right. Ready? I didn't see any lights. Okay, yeah, we got lights again. They're brighter this time. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, she's spinning right over. Oh, yeah. 
Hold up, do it one more time. I had to get the footage of all the dirt and the nuts coming up out of the flywheel housing. It's like dumping them out by the starter. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, look, you can see them. Looks like bird seed. Oh. It's like bringing it up out of the bottom. <laughs> well, should we do a little uh, little ether zap? Uh, let's, uh, have we checked the oil? No. <laughs> That's not how we roll it. This guy, we talk to this guy, you can tell he's legit. I guarantee that oil is probably crystal clear. <laughs> right. Does he even have a dipstick? All right, I checked. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oil schmoil. Look at the uh, the yeah. wing nut just coming out and mixing up all mouse turds and Gross. mouse masks. All right. Well, I think the choke. Is she, uh... Wait a second. Oh, the choke is disconnected. We still got. We probably got throttle. Oh man, she's loose. Oh dude, this thing's like ready to like. It's ready. To it's ready to fire. Restart. All right, yeah, I'll give it some ether. I guess we're just assuming it has spark. It'll have spark. <laughs> All right. Is this start? Yep. <laughs> Look like lithium. <laughs> You think more? Well, I just don't want to like. No, I'm just saying we might actually have to break into the distributor and do some point cleaning. Shit like that. Yeah, at least some points. I guess let's pull a plug and see what's up. Yeah. The thing is, you can't give any gas while you're spinning because your foot is your foot is engaging a starter and trying to slide over your heel and do yeah. some do some pump action. Yeah, do the heel toe. <laughs> They're definitely new plugs and new wires and stuff. So uh -huh. um, we don't want it to do too much. <laughs> that. That hose clamp's pretty hot. Is it? Yeah, it's not like crazy hot, but. <laughs> Look at that, that's all they have to do to spark. it. Should spark, just get that end. Oh my God, is that end dissolved? It's pretty much gone. Where'd that come, out of the Chevelle? No, it was in the truck. Oh, that's hilarious. It must be the old ones. <laughs> Dude. Let's give it a shot. Here's the test plug. Let's give her one more chance in life. She doesn't snap in like your normal plug. You're listening to this, so it's like maybe just like take a little bit off. Is the valve cover gonna ground through these bolts? I think so. Yeah. I can't believe you did that. The patina. Well, I it's like it. taking a C Barber coin and taking an emery cloth to it. Yeah, I guess I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here, you do it. Uh, dude, you'll be all right. I did the last one. <laughs> dude, I hate getting shocked by these things. You won't get shocked. This boot is thick. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh. I promise you. And there's no, there's no spark anyway. Roll so. it all the way back here. There's probably a hole in the that wire. purple wire's disconnected or fell out of somewhere, so. All right, you ready? All right, if I yell, you got to stop. Don't be afraid of it. Here we go. Yeah. I got nothing. Oh my goodness gracious. There you go, girl. Don't be so stubborn. Oh, oh dude. My God, beautiful. This thing's like brand freaking new, dude. Let's go turn the key ahead and see if we got some. Oh, no, she's got some. She's got build up. She's got some build up. Oh yeah, you can kind of feel the crap in between them. Oh man, the coil wiring is really jank. What is that? Some sort of butt splice. Oh, definitely some crap on there. Yep. We got spark. All right, yeah, we got spark now. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let me put this wire on. All right. Oh, yeah. She's ready to go. Should we try to like idle it on ether? Or? Yeah. All right. That's 
good. We know it's gonna go. Yeah, and then I think our fuel pickup is probably clogged as shit the C10 was because we ain't got nothing. Well, or there's nothing in the tank. I think there's some in the tank because you pulled that thing out and there's crap all over it. Right, but it could have been laying in the bottom of what's left and if it's got that pickup tube that goes down in through the back. All right, so as you can see, we got this thing uh, popping over, but. Oh, what's in there? Oh, it's a handle or something? Yeah, that's for uh, electric fences. That'll work for this. Oh, we got a box. We got a box. Is there an A track player in there? Looks like your standard drill bits. Or triangles or something. Uh -oh. oh no, it's tiny. Drill bits. <sighs> Always need some drill bits. It's pretty deep though. A bunch of parts spilled out. What's that thing play? Cassette? Oh, we've got the murder weapon. Oh, she was loaded with stuff. A lot of turds. Still got, oh, dude, it, it goes deep back there. We ain't done yet. Oh, man. Stick your hand back there. We got something, something chrome looking. Possibly. Oh, wait, we got a handle. We got the door handle. Cha ching. Does that door open over there or what? Oh, but not without the handle. We got an old school crank out of something. It ain't for this. Wow, dude, it's like it's like for a house maybe. Cast. Brass. Mm -hmm. Clearly worth money. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's, it's soldered together too. Like. Wing windows work? Mm -hmm. oh. oh yeah, they do. She's she's operational. That's it, man. Yeah, you just like stirred the smell up and you're bad. That's okay. Yep. Yeah, I mean we could take this tank out, fill it with some gas and like shake it about and dump it out a couple times. That's a fucking nightmare. <clears throat> Alright, so we can see if we can get a fuel pump for it. Well, we'll probably end up like cutting this line or something and like putting the inline filter in there. We're just gonna use the original tank. Are we gonna clean it out? No. We're just gonna run some crud through the lines, clog up a couple filters, and we'll send her on her way. It was starting to suck fuel. Hmm. Huh. Nice. Well, we know the pump's good. This is for the vacuum advance right here. Is that what's okay. going on? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Freaking hard line. They were making sure. All right, so the coolant system is screwed. There's that giant hole there. There's also a giant hole here. So I don't know how easy that is. I mean, it's obviously not fixable. I think we need a radiator for it if we're going to go very far. Yeah. All right, so you can see the setup here. Filter, line, 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 gas jug. I think the radiator's bad. You know? You might be right. I wonder if that's why she got parked. You know? Yeah. We don't have any extra rads just laying about right now, do we? No. Man, do you believe in that shit? Oh! I know, right? We could use that rad. We might be able to use this radiator right here. Let's see if we can get this one doing something now. I definitely think this is good, so we could probably rig it up if we need to. That way we can cruise her around. Fine. Gas jug. Oh, we need fire. Uh, we just need a bat. You guys want to see my my old Kragers? They're beat up. I like. I like. I want to get them like redone. You know what I mean? You gotta take these tires off. I don't know, like sandblast them or something? There's chrome on there, so that stuff ain't easy to sandblast off. That's a fact. I think you have to have them, like, basically unchromed. I think chroming places do that or some stuff. 
So I'll probably do it eventually. They look like rare wheels. Tell me if they're not, but maybe they're just stupid. Oh my God. Oh, I wonder what happened with that hose. Probably, it looks like that hose actually burst. And now it's all hard, but maybe it was all soft. And if you look at this, this is the original in transit. Still in the window. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Prime that. What's that? But like, I don't know, sucking through this end with the filter maybe? Well, because there's a lot of air in there, you know? The filter's half full. I thought the distributor was loose. The vacuum advance turns the entire body. Yeah. Dude, no way. Yeah, nuts. Every time you hit it, it's gonna advance that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I was like, dude, this thing's like, I thought it was like walking, you know? You know what we ought to do before anything? Cause it looks like there's a leak here too. Let's just throw some water in it just to see if anything. You yeah, but happens. the problem is it'll only go that high, you know? Right, I'm looking at this right here. Yeah, I know. It I looks see. like it's kind of been seeping. actually holding it seems like it is look like you've got some like steam coming out of the the hose the hole right i think it might actually hold dude <laughs> yeah see if it's up that high <clears throat> yeah there's water sitting in there for a little bit I mean, that's not that dirty. That was kind of orange. Right. Okay. 
All right, I got some hoses. Let's see if these things fit. I think we might be like cut this one, you know what yeah, I mean? let's see. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Uh -huh. Yeah, this one, you gotta shorten this one too. Oh, but that's like a, that's a winner right there. Not too bad at all, son. I mean, pay attention to these part numbers if you need these hoses. 20065. I'll tell you the other one, because that's, you know, that's an online only type of thing. Yeah, baby. That hose fits good. All right, so if you got a 57 or, you know, any of these trucks, here's a part number for those. Oh, nice. Yeah, 21995. She fits pretty good. Look, she rubs a little bit on the engine mount, but psst, that's just because we didn't cut it down short enough. So, bing, bang, boom. All right, so these hoses are great. This is great. This is going great. Um, we're filling her up. Apparently the giant hole in the radiator, you just get it and you just, you just, you just ignore that. You just go ahead and ignore that. Um, I think we're holding. I mean, she's holding. She's not playing games today. She wants to run, fellas. Right? Probably filling the block up. Probably holds like 1,600 gallons. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Uh, yep, go ahead. This thing is just like a brand new. You gotta be kidding me. There's reverse, yeah. No way. This is probably one of the better running ones that we've had. I mean, I mean, you know, but they all do run pretty good. Like the International ran good. The C10, C10 ran good. I mean, it's, it's always impressive, man. Is there a temp gauge on it or? Yeah, yeah and it's actually working a lot. Where's the sensor? I wonder if that's what our purple wire is. Oh, maybe that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's moving?
too cool, dude. The oil pressure gauge works perfect. I know, right? Temp gauge is going up. Get some stuff starting to burn off. So that's good. Rat turds. <laughs> Probably not good to inhale. We'll rebuild on this. Almost out here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, the smell of cooking rat turds and this is... God, it does not smell good, I'll tell you that much. It kind of burns the lungs. Is it flowing yet or no? What? Is it flowing? It doesn't look like it. So these are the tires we're going to be rolling on. You know, they, I think that's factory. Yeah, so is this. Perfectly normal. This one's in decent shape. That just opened. She's just a little bit above half. This captain, it was spilling out of here and shooting around, so we know she's flowing. I think you should have left it open. All right, so I'm gonna do a fuel tank relocation kit. I think to the passenger floor. Um, we'll shut her off, check her over, and then maybe we'll take her around the block. It's gonna have a ton of air in it, so. What did you just kill it? Oh, wait a second. Would our battery fall down in there and get smashed? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, she fell. You want to just hold the hood? Uh -huh. <laughs> it actually landed right side up. Nice. Oh, that's good. Strap. Yeah, we'll get some. For it. I got a strap in. Okay. Get rid of a lot of that hair. I don't think it's going anywhere this time, so. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. 
All right. All right, let me show you this truck now that it's all cleaned up. Oh, yeah. My detailer didn't get the window finished. Look how solid she is. Look at the seat. Oh my god, has it even been driven? She's solid for sure.